It's actually an interesting question, um, which you know is sort of gets into our process a little bit. But can you comment on how the rate of change of S and P earnings growth for energy is down thirty eight percent, which the subscriber thought would imply we would not be in that sector, but we are in XLE due to Quad three. This this seems contradictory. Can you explain? Well, it's not contradictory because you're not exactly. explain, you're not looking at it the right way. Goes to the okay. Process. So you, the, the, the 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 what's central to your question? I want everybody to learn from this, including you. You just asked me a question that deals in absolutes. You said, well, the numbers, the, the earnings are negative, then why would I be long it? Slide 73, all right? So it's about the rate of change of numbers. So a number that goes from really negative to less negative and then positive, whoa, now that is a rate of change long, okay? Now that's energy, okay? So you can look at this. Let's just do this little exercise quickly. Um, energy uh, is right here. This is S&P 500 earnings growth, energy, the sector, Remember, if you bought it when earnings were at their most negative point in 2016, when people were just giving away assets and energy and companies were going bankrupt, then it went from minus 109 to minus 81.6. That is rate of change positive, okay? This was positive, this was positive, this was positive, positive. Your most positive point was here. Because you went from minus 110 to plus 690. Get it? It's the rate of change. So it's where you are on the sine curve. It's thinking in second derivative or rate of change space, not thinking in absolute space. If you think in absolute space, you sold energy at the bottom at minus 109 because it's terrible. And you bought tech at the top. So this is Q3 of 2018. Tech, you bought, you bought stocks here right at the, at the top of all these growth rates. Okay, There are plenty of tech stocks now that reflect this, which is you've gone from the peak growth rate in technology to these numbers, minuses. So when you go from up 25 to up five to down five, uh, to companies just hoping that the numbers go up, obviously tech, in parts of tech, software in particular, which is still down uh, eight or 10% from where it peaked back in July. Again, energy now, so if you look forward at energy, it's gonna go from its worst point, minus 33, to up, uh, actually up. I don't know if it's gonna be up that much, but anything, less than the current numbers that they're guiding to in the second quarter. It's a classic example of buying a cyclical a stock. So you know how a lot of people are like, oh, I gotta, I gotta be long this value move because I heard about it on TV. Uh, I got all these value managers that are actually coming back from the dead. Well, you shouldn't really be long everything that they have. You should be long energy, which is the deepest value sector of the S&P 500 by a country mile. 